Hello and welcome to the T-Rex Soccer Show, where we ask the tough questions. Our guest today is the golden kid of the hour right now for Man United, Wayne Rooney. But before we get to Wayne, we have a message from the D-Rack Soccer Show's lawyer, Donald Finkelhurst. Go ahead, Donald. Yes, the sponsors of this show don't endorse any of the opinions or acts of barbarism that may take place during the Seriously, program. Man. Acts of barbarism? Sure. Could man, happen. I'll show you an act of barbarism okay. if you don't scurry your little lobster legs out of here in a uh, jiffy. All right, I'm out of here. By the way, Donald, uh -huh. screw you. Oh, all, all right. right. Bye. Speaking of our sponsors, this show is hosted by OneLoveSucker.net, as usual. And our sponsors today are WorldFootballBook.com, One World, World the Beautiful, beautiful game. game, and 10Shirt.net, everything, everything you, you love about, about the Beautiful, beautiful game. game. Our continued sponsor today is Soccer2Square.com, a game that makes one-touch drills much more titillating for the little ones. What? But not too titillating. Okay. Okay. If you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's a it's a clean game. Okay. Our non spocker our non spocker Why do I always screw up this part? <laughs> our non soccer sponsor oh. today is Dog One Thong. Dog gone. This is a real product, huh? Yes. All right. It's uh, called the Dog One Thong. Dog gone. The Dog One Thong. Dog, dog Thong gas neutralizing pad. Sure. My goodness, that's a mouthful. It's real, though. A thong mm -hmm. that keeps your gaseous dog's farts suppressed and deodorized. Sounds painful. Now, <laughs> this might help some of the dogs that are drinking too much Heineken. Uh, but you wouldn't catch me dead in it, I can tell you that. All right. Today's viewer mail, ding, 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 Brr. comes from... Oh, are you serious? Okay. It's real. Today's mail comes from Dixie... Normus uh -huh. from Anus, uh, Anus. Anus mm -hmm. France. You got it. Oh, that's convenient, guys. Is I, that the French name? It is. Uh, Normus. <laughs> well, Normus is. <laughs> I right, don't know about uh, Dixie. I have no idea where my staff find these characters. Wherever. So, Dixie Normus asks, Why do you always have American and English guests on your show? How about French, Dutch, German, or other players or managers? You know, that's a fair question, Dixie. My answer is that I did once invite Thierry Henry on uh, after his handball to pass, to go, but he said no, thank you, and bugger off. I once invited Eric Winaldo on the show, who is part Dutch, but he hates me and thinks I am a gigantic prick, so Let he didn't go, even man. reply. I once go. invited Franz Beckenbauer on as well, but uh, he's still holding a grudge against me from... Uh, when once I gave him a wedgie on the Cosmos team bus uh, in front of the whole team that back really in uh, 1983. Uh, Giorgio was holding him down you know, while I gave him a real good ripper. Oh, and he's never forgiven me either. Uh, he's never even forgiven Giorgio either. So in short, I have tried, but it sometimes happens. It just hasn't worked out. We'll keep trying though. All right, the guest is up. Our guest today is Manchester United superstar Wayne Rooney. Wayne, how are you? Uh, I'm doing very well, thank you. How well? I mean, you just kicked the panties off of David Beckham's AC Milan. Mm -hmm. That's got to make you feel great uh, to beat up on Golden Balls and his team. Well, we were all happy with the result. Uh, did you uh, hear that David, uh, mm -hmm. in his interview session yesterday <laughs> or the day before the game, about uh, Fergie being... Uh, his father figure to him for the 50th mm -hmm. time. Yeah, yeah, yes, I did. I mean, it was seriously like the 50th time. Look, okay. he's uh, uh -huh. said since he left Man United, uh -huh. you know, this is his uh, papa figure. Okay. So, questions, uh, a couple questions here for you. All right. Doesn't all this violin playing, sentimental garbage, Fergie <laughs> is my uh, papa, crapola, mm -hmm. is, is it as nauseating for you as it is for me? Uh, I try not. To involve myself in it much. So yeah. you don't think it's a, a little queer? <laughs> you know, the first time uh, he said it, I thought, oh, Fergie is like Papa to David. Mm -hmm. But now that he mentions it in every interview, I think it's a little creepy. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not sure that I do. Well, in not kind really. of an old school Greek man-boy love kind of thing. Oh. No offense to uh, the Greeks, because I know you guys don't believe in that stuff anymore. Mm -hmm. But uh, what do you think, Wayne? 
Is it a little suspicious? <laughs> I would not say. I'm not going well, to say anything about that. That's very diplomatic of you. All you right. know, you're a lot smarter than you sound. <laughs> and right. I, I appreciate you speaking in short sentences okay. so I can understand you. <laughs> All right. Now, how is Donkey? What? Uh, your donkey? friend Donkey from the movies. I'm not, not following you. Didn't you do a children's movie? Where they painted you green. Uh, I think you played an ogre uh, uh, named Shrek. Uh, no, that wasn't me. No. I know, I know. It's when right. I was just busting your balls a little. All right. uh, what do you think about some of the okay. other managers in uh, mm -hmm. the English Premier League? <clears throat> I know Arsene Wenger okay. and Fergie. And uh, Fergie haven't always gotten along. Mm -hmm. But uh, be honest. Okay. Do you think perhaps Arsene might also be a part of this man-boy love group thing <sighs> that's going on? There are rumors. Do you have any inside information? Uh, well, I've never played at Arsenal, so I can't really say. But uh, you have heard the rumors, I take it, the whispers. I think those are just jokes, not real rumors. Well, why would people make joke rumors up about, uh -huh. uh, you know, Arsene being a man-boy love type? You know, it's kind of sick, isn't it, making managers out to be gay lords? Well, it's kind of what you you do it here, though, isn't I'm, it? Uh, I'm just asking the tough questions here, Wayne, you know? It's well, my job. Mm, well, if you say so. I mean, it sure sounds like you think they're both uh, gay lords. Well, I'm sorry if it came out that way. Well, it's you know, I'm just tackling funny. the rumors. All Speaking right. of which, okay. there was a rumor that you and uh, Portsmouth manager, mm -hmm. Avram Grant, right. uh, had been hanging out together at the whorehouse. <laughs> Is this true? Uh, I think you may have your information confused. How so? I heard you and Abram, you know, mm -hmm. did some uh, double teaming. Mm, I'm not sure you get your information, but my incident with prostitution happened a long time ago. I can't speak for Abram Grant. Though. So you admit no. it then? You were with a prostitute. <sighs> this is breaking news. No, it's not. I've already said in prior interview, it's not breaking news at all. Well, damn it, Wayne. Mm -hmm. You couldn't <laughs> save that one for me? Uh, can, no. can you tell me something? that no one else knows about you, okay. that you don't want them to know about you. <laughs> then I'm not gonna like uh, maybe you enjoy wearing women's underwear, uh, no. or you have a fear of peeing while standing next to other men, <laughs> no. or something weird like that. So I can have no. some breaking news on my show. I'm not sure that I can do that. All right, Sorry. screw it then. All right. USA versus England. Who mm -hmm. scares you uh, on the US, the US team? Well, Jimmy Howard is a former teammate. Uh, Dempsey is good. Uh, Donovan has shown. So uh, you're expecting good. a battle yeah. from the Americans then? Well, I really do. Yes. Yes. So, more cards in the World Cup. You or Michael Bradley? Michael Bradley, I hope. Good guess, Wayne. Mm -hmm. Better goalkeeper, Brad Friedel or Tim Howard? Well, that's a tough one. I have to say Friedel. Better looking? Mm -hmm. Me? Or Nick Webster. Well, you're a dog, right? Yes. No matter, though. Doesn't mm -hmm. bother the ladies. So, who is more handsome? I guess I'll say you are. I don't know. Now, that's a good answer, Wayne. All right. Uh, put that in your pipe and smoke it, Nick Webster. I'm not even sure. Who's Nick Webster? Anymore? Ouch. Mm. Well, he's in a North American football analyst oh. on the Fox Soccer Channel. Okay. All right. It's okay. All right. I'm sure you don't Sorry. watch a lot of American television. Not really. Uh... How are you and the wife getting along since <coughs> you uh, stopped stooping uh, the uh, prostitutes? All right, listen, man. The prostitute thing happened uh, long before I, I got sense married. I frustration, Wayne. I bet you'd like to punch me in the, the dog marbles right about now. This crossed my mind, actually. Yes. All right, Wayne. Final score, USA mm -hmm. versus England. I'm going to say I think we win if we play our best. You know? I say the score is 2-1. USA, right. and that you get accidentally kicked in your fuzzy ones <laughs> in, say, the 35th minute, All right. and it hampers your ability okay. to be Wayne Rooney. Right. It's just a prediction I have. It's not uh, personal. I certainly hope not. No, well, thanks it. for coming on the show, Wayne. All right. Being a good sport and mm. putting up with my crap. Uh, you're welcome, d All, All right. right, folks. Thanks for Bye -bye. tuning in to uh, the show, and remember to keep your knickers clean uh, and your love letters dirty, and I'll see you next time. On the D-Rex Soccer, Soccer Show. Show.